What's up guys and welcome back to 2 Minute Tutorials. Today's focus is the cable tricep pushdown. This exercise is going to target the lateral head of your tricep with some emphasis on the long and medial head. Now there's a few different ways to perform this depending on which piece of equipment you use. However, in this video, I'm going to be demonstrating with an easy bar. Nonetheless, each variation utilizes the exact same technique, so just use whichever is best for you. To initiate the setup, hook your attachment onto the cable machine so that it rests just above your chin. If you're using a bar, employ an overhand grip with your thumbs wrapped over, and if you're using a rope, employ a neutral grip with your thumbs wrapped around. But regardless of whichever one you choose, grip the attachment firmly in the palms of your hands at or within shoulder width. From here, take a few steps away from the machine and hinge your hips back so that your upper body is slightly leaned forward as opposed to upright. Then, pull the attachment towards your rib cage and pin your elbows by your side as you retract your scapula and depress your shoulder blades. The starting position should look something like this, where your hands are level with your chest, your upper body is tilted forward, your knees are slightly bent, your shoulder blades are retracted, your forearms are in contact with your biceps, and your lower back is neutral, but your upper back is slightly arched. From here, begin the concentric by pushing the bar in a slight arc by bending your elbows and squeezing your triceps. From the side, your elbows should travel slightly backwards, but from the back, they should be tucked in and locked in place. That being said, it's also okay to keep your elbows fixed or let them travel forward just as long as they don't flare out and you aren't pushing with your chest. Keep your eyes straight, your back tight, and your hands away from your body and push the weight down with your palms until your arms are fully extended. At the bottom, your elbows should be fully flexed, your arms should be vertical, and the tension should be on your triceps. Hold this position for one to two seconds, then begin the eccentric by slowly resisting the weight back up. From the side, your elbows should travel slightly forward, but again, from the back, they should be tucked in and locked in place. That being said, if it's more comfortable for you to keep them fixed or push them back, that's also fine, just as long as you feel the tension in your triceps. Keep your shoulders back, your body tilted, and your hands away from your body, and get back into the starting position for the next rep. To incorporate this into your routine, choose a light to moderate weight for 3-4 to four sets of anywhere from 10-20 to 20 reps. That's it for this tutorial, feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed, comment what you want to see next, and subscribe for more.